hey, hello. A balanced life, is there such a thing? There actually isn't, right? <laughs> it just makes us strive for balance, like it makes us think even harder and try even harder, right? There, there really is no balance because at certain points in your life, certain areas will require more effort than others, right? Let's say your fitness is awesome and you're, you've got weight and you're feeling super awesome and your digestion is great and you've got loads of energy but maybe um, you don't feel quite connected spiritually you're not getting soul messages to grow your business right and so therefore your business results aren't great so of course you're going to spend more time learning how to connect to soul and clearing yourself energetically so you can listen to soul so you can grow your business results right so there's always going to be areas that get more attention than others but what a balanced life means for your business right is that all parts of the wheel are balanced not the you spend equal time or e even effort uh, or other resources you know time money effort in those places but more that the wheel becomes balanced because here's what happens if you think about your your wheel of life right so this is something we talk about in, in life coaching all the time even though I don't life coach anymore I do use my life coaching skills a lot in business because if your life isn't balanced all the other areas are going to be knocked out of balance, right? Just like if you are not fit. Like if you sit on the couch all day and eat potato chips and watch Netflix, your body's not going to be happy, right? You're not going to have space in your body. Um, you're therefore not going to have the energy to grow your business. You're, then your wealth is going to go down. When your wealth goes down, you might start fighting in relationships, right? So you're... The way that every area of your life is definitely does affect every other area. That's why I. That's why when I coach, it can't just be about business, right? Because working on those other areas of your life will definitely increase your wealth, definitely, in your business. Um, so what does a balanced life look like? Well, it means that all areas are equally good, right? So you can't just focus on business goals. You can't just focus on spiritual goals. You can't just focus on health goals. You can't just focus on building wealth. You must work on all of those things. And we set goals all the time, right, for our business, but do you set goals in other areas? Do you have a goal that you're working towards for spiritualism? Like, is your goal that you'd like to be able to meditate for 10 minutes a day, you know? And, what, and then what actions are you taking out of that? There's no point setting goals and just that is floating around out there on the eth in the ether, you know, <laughs> like a balloon floating around, right? You have to actually have aligned actions associated with those goals so those balloons actually land. So let's say you wanted to increase your spiritualism because you wanted to have a more soul-led business, right? I guarantee you, once you get into a soul-led business, you watch the monies fly into your business. <laughs> it's true, right? This shit really works. That's what my clients laugh about all the time. They're like, but this, this like, is so easy to make money once you actually get like what it is. It's like, yeah, it really is. And it's all about being soul-aligned and taking those soul-aligned actions. So what would meditation have to do with increasing your business results and increasing your wealth? Well, when you meditate, of course, you're going to clear yourself energetically and you're going to tap into whatever external sources are available to you. Your soul, your higher consciousness, God, Christ energy, your angels, whatever it is that you believe that you are connecting into, right? And getting those messages about how to grow your business means you can grow it in like 20, like 100, 6,000 times faster. So, of course, you want balance everywhere. So, my question for you today is, is your wheel of life balanced? How, how do you feel about your wealth? If you don't feel great about it, set a goal in there and then take aligned actions to get there. Let's say you want passive income. Okay, so get a Shearsies account and start investing in shares, right? Like, it's not just going to magically jump up and slap you in the face because you wish that you had wealth. You have to actually do something about it. You have to take the aligned actions. How is your spiritualism? Do you feel connected? How is the purpose um, that you're here to do in the world, your legacy? Like, are you leaving something behind? Are you making the world a better place in some way? How do you feel about that? If you don't feel great, what would you like to leave behind and how can you do that about it? Can you start working in charity somewhere? Can you give money to a charity? Like, what, what difference can you make? Um, lifestyle, how do you feel about your fun and your freedom in your life? Like, is there plenty of joy and fun in your life? Because I guarantee you, if there is no joy and fun in your life, you are leaving money on the table in your business, without a doubt. The best way to build wealth, the best way to grow your business is to step back into joy, I promise you. This shit really works. <laughs> Um, and relationships, love relationships, and then also family relationships, and then also friendships. How do you feel about all three of those areas? Are they exactly what you want, or do you need to set some goals there and some aligned actions there as well? So wishing you a fabulous, balanced wheel of life, and remember, together we shall rise. If it's time for you to grow your business in a soul-aligned way, if it's time for you to tap into your soul so that 
you can grow your business in an authentic way for you, if it's time for you to get brave, if it's time for you to sort out your money mindset, if it's time for you to have somebody on your team, then I'm inviting people to talk to me right now about the Business Acceleration Club. It doesn't start until the 1st of July. There is funding available in New Zealand. So if you're keen, talk to me. Super affordable, super good. Okay, have a fabulous day forward. And remember, together we shall rise.